very much. I've been coming down to Boy State and swearing in the officers now for uh, about 18 years, and it's always a pleasure. Uh, it used to be when we swore in the officers, after we swore in the officers, was when the governor was here. Uh, I don't ever remember it not being hot. And uh, I do remember one governor one time who read a 42-page speech uh, while he, as his speech. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good day for Mary County. And while I'm at it, John, somebody in my house said, tell you what. Uh, we've got Mary County uh, scored high yesterday, as I understand it in the election. Uh, it's, it's a pleasant pleasure for me to be here and talk to you. Uh, I want to talk to you just a very short amount of time. Let me explain to you why you're here. You're here because somebody in your community or somebody in your school has perceived that you're a leader. That's why you're here. Only leaders go to Boy State. Leaders, uh, I, 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 like, I would like to think that I went to the best leadership course uh, ever known to mankind, and that was uh, 16 weeks in OCS with the United States Marine Corps. I know a little bit about leadership. Uh, back uh, actually uh, 40 years ago today, uh, I was in Vietnam with uh, a rifle company, I had uh, squad leaders who were your age. I had squad leaders that dis made decisions, life and death decisions. Uh, who goes out on the night patrol? Who's got the flank? They were your age. And they were, they were exercising leadership. And they were, it was a fine, it was a fine generation of young men. Leaders are either natural leaders, and some, some people are just leaders because they have that quality to them. And then you have people who really start out not being leaders, but learn how to be leaders. And finally you have, in the time of crisis, and the uh, time of an important event, uh, leaders who rise to the the leadership post because of the circumstances. Harry Truman, who was the president of the United States, as a, as a civilian, uh, owned a clothing store, which went bankrupt. And after that, he became president of the United States, and, and uh, my father, who's long since deceased, and a lot of other Old demographic will tell you that we haven't had a really good president since we had Harry Truman. But uh, uh, Harry Truman was, was not born to the job by any, by any stretch of imagination. The, the, the basis of leadership basically rests on two things. One is character. Show me a leader of men or a leader of women or a leader of people. And I'll show you somebody that has character. Second is service. Leaders lead primarily by example. For example, if you're a squad leader in, in a combat situation, and you've got to send a listening post out, which consists of two guys in a radio, three or four hundred yards in front of your position. And their job is just to listen and to let people know if somebody's coming. And you've got an 18-year-old squad leader who has to make that decision and, and, and who has to decide who goes. And the one thing those squad leaders know is, is they've got to know every once in a while. You can't leave by sending somebody else out on a listening post. You go yourself. You lead by example. General Eisenhower said leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something that you want done 
because he believes that he wants to do it. So enjoy your time here. You're going to remember the rest of your lives, particularly the officers, but many, probably all of them. You're going to remember people you met here for the rest of your life. You're going to, you're, you're going to run into people at college. Uh, you're going to run into people at, at, in civilian life. This is a great time in your life. You're coming on what a lot of people say is the greatest year of your life, your senior year in high school. Uh, that's coming up. Uh, take advantage of it. Take advantage of these five days that you'll never forget. Now, I'm here, that's the end of my 42 page speech, and I'm here for the purpose of swearing in the officers, and I uh, am happy and proud to do that again. Uh, we're going to start by swearing in the uh, 